Okay, this is my mini POV or persistence of vision. Uh, what it was, I saw Great Scott's video a couple of weeks ago where he made his, and a really nice little fan unit that one, and I guess most people have seen that video. And I thought to myself, wait a minute. Most people put either battery on the top that spins around, or they have uh, wires going to the shaft, use brushes and whatever to pick up the energy. And I thought, this has got to be possible with wireless electricity. So that's what I uh, attempted. So what we've got here is the motor itself is actually a brushless that are fixed, a PC motor brushless, it's supposed to run at 12 volts, and uh, <laughs> I'm running it at five on USB. But what we've got there is a 24 plus 24 turn coil, D381 transistor, uh, 5K variable pot, and in fact, um, here's the circuit diagram for that. Uh, very simple system indeed. And uh, we've got straight through to the motor from the 5 volts with a 5K pot to adjust the speed because it's, like I say, it's a 12 volt motor running at 5. And sometimes I have to, well, flick the rotor to get it started. <laughs> I should use a different motor. Uh, on the receive side, uh, here's the circuit there. I'm using a voltage doubler for the whole circuit because that needs 5 volts and there wasn't quite enough coming through. So, uh, yeah, that's quite a simple thing. I've got a 10 PF capacitor across the pickup coil which is of 24 turns of 30AWG. There's two 1N4148 diodes and two 0.1 UF capacitors. Um, the nice, another nice feature on this thing really uh, is I've got a button here to change the messages and on the back um, the Arduino just plugs into the PC for programming or for changing messages or whatever. So that's uh, it's kind of convenient just to pick this thing up and take it over to the PC. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll show it running next. Okay, so here we are with it running. It's a little slow because of this motor, really. I do intend to change it. But uh, you can see there's animations going on. And I'll let it run around with that one again. We've got my name comes up. And then there's these uh, exploding dots. And then the Pac-Man going around. Now, if I stop this, you can see the lights are flashing away and that shows you how these things are created how the the dots are on for just a couple of milliseconds each and uh, when they spin around then you get the uh, numbers letters whatever if i press this now it should be able to change the uh, program on board to another um, set of messages in this case i've just got on there i've got number three written up but uh, yeah, that allows to uh, just change to whatever I want to run. Um, if I stop it again and press it again, start it up, we should see it's changed again to number two. So I've actually got the three and the two the wrong way around, but I will be putting the links to uh, other people's tutorials and such uh, on Instructables and also uh, the code for this one I'll be posting as well. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching.